Gold has presented an interesting risk to reward swing opportunity, a solid 3.5 to 1 risk to reward position. Here are the technicals supporting this bear case. <laughs> Here's a nice swing trade prospect that I've recently taken myself. But as you can see, it has already moved greatly in my favor. I did post it on Twitter right after I'd taken it. So to those of you who want to be there when it happens, I suggest you follow me. I have the same lame name there as I do here, Long Life Trading. For on this channel, I go deep on why I took a trade, the reasoning behind it and so on. So that you yourself can learn or at least get inspiration and an alternative perspective. I entered a gold short at a 10x leverage at 1920.60. Here are the reasons behind that trade. But first, do note that nothing of what I say is financial advice. This episode is for entertainment and educational purposes only. And if this episode helps you become a better trader and helps you better understand where gold is currently at, please like and subscribe. And share it with all those who may benefit from hearing this too. Moving on to the technicals and why gold looks weak. Now, gold has broken out of its descending triangle and is currently retesting its lower level, which is now a resistance. This is a possible kiss and buy in the making. At least most technicals are lined up in favor for that. First of all, we have a cluster resistance on the daily chart and we are currently trading at or below them all. We're talking the horizontal resistance zone between 1915 and 1926, the EMA20 and the EMA50 and the Ichimoku cloud. We're also trading right below the EMA 200 on the 4-hour chart. These on their own of course paint a clear bearish picture and to add weight to the short-term gloom, the RSI is struggling both on the daily, the 4-hour and the 1-hour chart as it fails time and again to break above and stay above the upper bearish blue RSI line. This is textbook RSI weakness which shows that there is not enough conviction amongst the buyers. Apart from the strong weekly RSI channel, which is irrelevant given that we are looking for a short term swing, the only bullishness I can detect is that the RSI is still within a bullish red channel on the daily. However, it has both made a clear upper bearish blue touch and it has also made a clean green touch from below as well. Those are both clear indications that the RSI is walking down the basement and taking the price down with it. To those of you who haven't watched them yet, I strongly recommend you to watch the RSI trilogy, probably the most important piece on the RSI indicator on the entire YouTube. The truth is I'm actually a modest person, very modest, it's true. After having watched those episodes, all of this will make perfect sense and a new world will open up to blow your mind. <laughs> Sure, things truly look bearish at the moment and the sentiment on gold is currently weak. Nothing else but weak. And of course we want to exploit this to our statistical advantage. Here's how I'm playing it. As mentioned, my entry was at 1920.60 at a 10x leverage. I've set my stop loss at 1937 as it would mean the price has broken above all the resistances and closed outside the triangle upon which this downwards breakout would be considered a fakeout. This might very well be a bullish sign, at least it's something I'll look closely into should it occur. My first target is set at 1850, right by the previous bottom. Here I'll release one third of my position, lower my stop loss to break even and free roll with the remainder. The trade has a 3.5 to 1 risk to reward. Mathematically though, if the price were to only reach this first target, the true odds are in fact 1.17 to 1, as I risk a full unit but only realize one third of it upon hitting it. Of course, the risk to reward will automatically be greater if or when the price were to continue lower. This is where in the edge lies. You ideally want your first target to be at least a mathematically break-even proposition. By doing so, it's like being all in pre-flopping poker with aces versus aces, at which you flop a flush draw. In such case, you cannot lose. The worst thing that can happen is that you split the pot, which will naturally happen most of the times. However, if and when you do fill your flush, you win it all. The same principle applies here. Reaching your first sell target is a beautiful thing because it brings your risk down to zero. That's how you accumulate steady profits and wealth. 
You might even want to call it a golden spot. <laughs> that was all for now. Thank you and goodbye.